Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered, and sorry, I am under the weather. I have been sick since Monday, so I've literally been in bed. I cannot believe today is Thursday, but um, I had to come on here and talk about this situation, because I, I ran across this article while in bed, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is everything I've been saying. Now people are starting to catch on to what I was saying months ago. So if you guys remember... Back on December 17th, I had did a post on um, my podcast, and it was called TikTok's National School Shooting Day, Prompt Schools Around the U.S. to Increase Security. And in that podcast, I was pissed. I was livid. Um, This was before my youngest son got his license. I was driving him to school at the time, and we pull up to the school. There's police cars out there. Um, The night before, they had sent a message saying there'd be extra security because a challenge had spread around TikTok about, you know, go to school and start shooting. There had also been previous challenges before that, like slap a teacher day, slap a cop day, um, destroy your school bathroom. And the sad thing is a lot of these challenges were being a lot of these challenges were being done at not only my son's school, but many schools across the country. There's a new TikTok trend to tell you about that parents really need to see. While the trend is reckless, it hasn't stopped students from taking part. At schools all around the U.S., students are vandalizing school bathrooms. In Central Texas, they're pulling soap dispensers off the walls, stealing toilet paper, throwing trash on the floor, and in some cases, destroying plumbing. A spokesperson for Austin ISD says while there are no cameras in the bathrooms, videos posted on TikTok have made it easier to find the students who are responsible. Austin ISD says it's important that parents talk to their kids about taking care of school property. Many schools across Texas have reported similar cases, including Leander and Round Rock ISD. Um, he sent me video of some of the destruction that went on in the boys' bathroom where these kids were taking sledgehammers to the bathroom sink. They were breaking toilets. It was insane. These challenges made me sick to my stomach because I was raised in a generation where even if you didn't like going to school, you still respect you still respected the school grounds. You didn't go out your way to destroy school property, computers, bathrooms, sinks, things like that. And so I got to thinking, like, this is not normal. Why is it that these these challenges tend to spread, I mean, like wildfire all over TikTok? Why is it that they're not able to, as soon as they see these challenges going viral, take them down, ban these, you know, ban these accounts that are spreading these challenges? It seems like when it comes to destroying the youth of America, these challenges are free to spread, But then what I would notice when I talk to people who live in China or who deal heavily in Chinese apps, when I would ask them, when you guys go on y'all's TikTok, do you guys have these type of challenges? Are these type of challenges being fed to y'all's youth? And unequivocally, every last person said no. When you go on the Chinese app, Fight dance or the, ti- or the Chinese version of TikTok, they're teaching kids about math and science and things like that. Their app looks nothing like our app. This latest incident, not the only case that has surfaced from the TikTok challenge. Last July, Texas eight-year-old Lalani Walton was also found dead from recreating the short video. And in Pennsylvania, a 10-year-old girl died last December after attempting that very same TikTok challenge. I think so much of this is talking to kids, especially young kids, about the transition from the virtual world to reality. That basically what they see online, just like cartoons or movies, may not actually be real. But for the Arroyos, their plan? To continue to live their lives honoring their daughter. So back in December 17, 2021, I had came to the conclusion that this was way deeper and way scarier than any of us as parents could even imagine. So I want to go ahead and play you guys a flashback to what I said back then. Go ahead and check this out. So this was back in the summer of 2020 
where Donald Trump tried to ban TikTok. Well, once good old Joe Biden got into office, he basically rescinded that. He withdrew Trump's executive order seeking to ban TikTok. And so now people, what people don't realize, TikTok is still owned by the Chinese. I think a lot of people feel like we own TikTok now because of the whole Donald Trump thing. But what folks don't realize is that Joe Biden, you know, he he rescinded it. So we don't own TikTok. It's still owned by the Chinese. Right. So follow me here. The Chinese own TikTok. And more and more challenges are causing chaos in the school system where schools are having to be shut down. Teachers are being slapped. All these seeds are being planted to these children. Could it be possible that a lot of these challenges are started by Chinese AI, that there is somebody in the Chinese government programming these challenges for American children. Because like I always tell y'all, the war will not be waged, okay, on the ground. This isn't the fucking 50s. We're not going to be throwing grenades and, and shooting and all that stuff. The new war will be fought in cyberspace. And what better way to ruin a generation of children than to dumb them down with stupid challenges, get them felonies, get them arrested, because that's less of the population to go against China and these superpowers that want to take over the world. G.I. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> you know, maybe I'm reaching. <laughs> I'll, I'll own that. Maybe I'm reaching. But if you really understand where I'm coming from, you kind of can see the blueprint. Because these challenges are very, very disturbing. And you notice they never go viral in China. They never go viral, you know, in the UK or overseas. These challenges always randomly start in America. Nobody knows who's starting these challenges. But somehow they get pushed through the algorithm. And these kids hop on it. And they think this is the best thing since sliced bread. But nobody's really thinking, where did this challenge come from? Who started this challenge? If they can delete black TikTokers for spitting knowledge and talking about slavery and, you know, talking real shit because they don't like that on their app. It's very interesting how somehow these challenges spread and they're not able to control them or delete them. I believe that a lot of this stuff is being done on purpose and it's being done to affect the minds of the youth, especially here in America. And it's very, very frightening. So you guys just saw um, what I had to say back in December. And what is so interesting is that as of yesterday, it looks like the news, honey, they've definitely been sipping tea. So now what's very interesting is that not only the Washington Times, but many other outlets have posted um, a new interview that was done by 60 Minutes. And basically 60 Minutes went on to investigate. And this video is going viral all over Twitter and they wrote this. They says, it's almost like the Chinese company ByteDance recognizes that technology is influencing kids' development. And they made their domestic version a spinach TikTok while they shipped the opium version to the rest of the world. So this is a very, very interesting um, revelation that they've come up with. But like I said, I have been suspecting this since over a year ago. But I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video really quick. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers! To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.